What's going on guys? In front of me, I have the brand new Peter McKinnon Luma Slings by Nomadic. I have the 12 liter and the nine liter, and we're gonna do a little size comparison and see what we can fit in these Luma Slings and maybe talk about like what they're good for, maybe what they're not good for. Uh, but yeah, you know what? I'm gonna save you the boring unboxing because I'm terrible at it. We're gonna do some little movie magic and open these bad boys up right now. Okay, so here you have it. We have the 12 liter on my right and the nine liter on my left. I left the little bags on them because I wanted to talk about Nomadic's branding. Nomadic has always been so good with their branding. Even though it's so subtle, just these little zip bags. I mean, honestly, you can keep these things and store some stuff in them, keep them, maybe store like, you know, extra clothes and put them in your backpack. Just a quick little tip, something that I've done, I've actually kept one of these bags and I use it for like dirty clothes when I travel, just, just a little tip, but let's go ahead and open these up, check out the size differences, see what we could fit in them and talk about what are they good for. Okay, so side by side, we can obviously tell the difference, right? We have the 12 liter and the nine liter. The 12 liter is just a little bit taller, probably about by two and a half inches. As far as all the zippers go and everything else, it looks to be exactly the same. So on the front right here, we have a little top zipper, which I absolutely love. I have the original Peter McKinnon sling, and I feel like that's one thing that was missing from that is just a easy access top zipper. So now that we have this top zipper, we could store batteries in here. Maybe if you're traveling, you put some cash in here or you know your passport or something like that. So both bags have these zippers. Another thing that they do very well are these little luggage slings right here or luggage holders. You could slide these on the back of your roller or if you wanna just carry it like that, you can. Um, I've actually used this on a trip to Japan where I actually clipped that onto my backpack and I just had my sling clipped onto my backpack. So let's go ahead and open these up and see what is inside. We have a side-by-side -side comparison. We're gonna open them up, see the inserts, see if there's anything different about them. Um, I'm pretty sure there's not other than the size. So let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna start with this 12 liter first. So the 12 liter, you have three inserts that come in Oh, there's more actually. So inside the 12 liter, you have kind of almost a ladder system. So you have these inserts inside that you could actually take out and use like a ladder system so you could put stuff underneath, put the insert back in, put something on top, or you could take them out completely and just use like the three dividing ones if you wanted to. Um, Personally, I believe I'm gonna be using this bag primarily as a lens bag. So I can have my lenses in here and on the go, if I need to switch a lens, I can go ahead and grab it right out of my bag. What I do love about this bag too, is it does have a pretty strong magnet on top. Let's see if we can see that. So there's a little magnet up here that clips on. Let's see if it will focus. So there's a little magnet up here that will clip on and you can kind of hear it and it's it's pretty strong. You also have this little top zipper up here where you could store memory cards or cables or batteries, which I absolutely love. Has the Peter McKinnon logo right here as well. Yeah, I mean, just the attention to detail to these bags. Nomadic is just, just so great. I talk about it all the time. Every time I do a Nomadic review or any sort of Nomadic product video, they just keep getting better and better and better. So I know I say this a lot when I talk about Nomadic is their attention to detail and their craftsmanship. Just the little things like the little Peter McKinnon logo everywhere, all these little holes that you can kind of put carabiners on or bongo ties. They just do such a good job when it comes to putting these bags together. I absolutely love it. So let's look at the nine liter bag and see what's going on with that. Again, we're back to the nine liter bag. I like the size factor of this nine liter bag. The only problem that I see with the nine liter bag is that if I wanted to store my 70 to 180 upright, I won't be able to do that with the 12 liter bag. Again, we do have that top zipper up here, same as the 12 liter. We have the little luggage sling. And if we open it up, we have magnets as well. This one came with bubbles. 
and this one is not a ladder system so that is the difference obviously because this one has a little more depth you're going to be able to fit more in it they provide that ladder system this one is just purely divisional so you have two dividers inside of it so you could put three lenses maybe a camera body a drone something like that you have the top zipper as well up here with the peter mckinnon logo and the magnets so as far as the build quality everything is the same just the 12 liter bag has a little more depth let's talk about a few little pros and cons on these bags um, we'll jump straight into the pros honestly the pros the build quality the color options the uh, portability with the 12 liter bag you get that cool ladder system you have the amazing little top zipper up here and it's it's just they just look dope i love how they look um now if i could pick out a con which was really hard to do if there's a con i i think that hopefully in the next line of slings nomadic can fix this but one thing that i didn't like with the original nomadic sling is that you cannot remove the strap so this strap right here is like just kind of stuck on there so you can't take it off in any way i would love for them to come up with a system that it clips on um uh, maybe it is kind of like um has like a little clip that you clip it in and you could push the button and take it off would be really cool um yeah it, it just there's was so many times i would love to just take this sling off and maybe just grab it by here so so i noticed this actually when i traveled to japan last year that i had this clipped onto my bag and then the strap was just kind of flying all over the place and i was trying to take it off and there's no way to take it off so nomadic maybe on the next peter mckinnon sling we can solve that issue and figure out a system to be able to remove this. That'd be awesome. All right, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and do a little test pack and see what we could fit in the Nomadic 12 liter. Then we can see what we could fit in the nine liter. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you how I would pack this and maybe give you some tips and tricks. So, so the Luma 12 liter Peter McKinnon sling is perfect for a lens bag. I don't have a dedicated lens bag. Typically throughout the day at a wedding, I'm shooting on a 24 to 70 and I might be switching to like my 70 to 180 or possibly a creative choice lens like an 85 or my tilt shift lens. So that's probably what I would put in this bag as well as some spare batteries and my point and shoot film camera. So I'd put the batteries up top in the little zipper. The cool thing is that the zipper is divided so you can actually put dead batteries on one side and charge batteries on another side so that's my little zipper pouch then i would take my 70 to 180 put it right here then i would use the ladder system to be able to store my point and shoot camera on the bottom so i would put that in there like that then i would fold over the ladder system and then I would put my 85 or this is the 50 right on top and then close it down. I would put the 85 on the other side. And if you can see, I actually still have a lot of space if I wanted to add some more stuff on here. So you can actually purchase some extra pads or something like that, or just put something right on top, something soft. You're not going to hurt your lenses and that's it. I would zip it up, I would zip it up, and I would be ready to go. So this would live on me at a wedding, something like this. So I need a, need a lens, oh, I need a lens, grab my lens. So that's how I would pack this 12 liter sling. So Nomadic did send these bags out to me. They do not have any say on this video though, and they will not be seeing this video until it is posted. Uh, I am such a huge Nomadic fan though. So thank you guys so much. So if you made it through this whole video, congratulations. Please leave a comment below and you will be entered to win this eight liter sling because I don't need a 12 and I don't need an eight and the backpack so i'm actually giving away the eight liter sling to everybody who enters a comment below thank you so much for watching like subscribe comment all that youtube stuff i'll see you in the next one peace